In this new video, we'll study an important prologue concept, unification. So we have already seen in a previous video that prologue, to answer a query, scans the program or the database from the top to the bottom to find a clause that matches with the current goal. Prologue uses a form of matching called unification. Generally speaking, unification consists in making two terms syntactically equal by replacing variables with constants. The involved terms must have the same functor and the same arity. So if the two terms are constants, this can unify only if they are equal. The used operator to unify two terms is the equal. Note that equal is not used to perform arithmetic operations. So initially, all variables are unbound. Once a variable is assigned to a value, it's named bound. Once a variable is bound, we can change its value only through backtracking, that we will see in another video. So to clarify the concept of unification, consider these examples. So the first one, we have two items, house equal house. So we try to unify, to unify house with house and this succeeds since the two are syntactically equal. If we try instead to unify house with ABC, this fails since they are not syntactically equal. Consider now a unification that involves a term with a variable, in this case C. So we try to unify adds A, B, both A and B are constants, with adds C, B, where C is a variable, capital C is a variable. In this case, if we substitute C with lowercase a, the unification succeed, since the two terms are now equal. Another one, adds a d equal adds C, B. In this case, we have two variables. The unification will succeed with the substitution C equal to A, so we substitute C with A, and we substitute B with D. In this case, the two terms are equal. Another one, adds CB equal adds AD. This, this one is equal to the previous one, the only difference is that now the variables are in the term of the, of the left, while previously the variables were in the term of the right. But this doesn't matter. The unification still gives the same result. So C equal to A and B equal to D. This example, add A, and now we have a compound term as argument of another compound term. So add A, F, G, H equal adds A, B. So in this case, unification succeed with A, uppercase A equal to lowercase A. So the variable uppercase A is unified with the constant lowercase A. And then the variable uppercase B, capital B, is unified with the compound term F, G, H. So here you can see variable can also be unified with compound terms and not only with items as in the previous examples. Here we have another interesting example. So we have adds AA equal adds BC. So here you can see the same variable appearing twice. Unification fails since all the occurrences of the same variable must be substituted with the same term. The unification requires that the first argument is unified with B and the second with C, but, but we have only one variable, AA, in both cases, so the unification fails. If we query instead adds AA equal adds BB, this will succeed, since A is substituted with B, and the two terms are now equal. Two more examples. So the first one. A equal to B, so we unify two variables, and then B equal to F. So we assign to B the value F, and then this reflects also to variable A. So we have A is assigned the same value of B, and B is assigned to F. 
Then, if we try a equal to b, b equal to f, and a equal to b, this fails, since once we assign b to f, also a is assigned to f, and now the unification a equal to e, so f equal to e, fails.